So this question looks like it's going to be a simplified question. Again, simplified questions are typically very short, between one and three lines long. Here we just have a single line. And will contain either an expression or like what we have here, an equation. So I'm going to read this question fully, although sometimes I just go ahead and simplify. But my eyes are being drawn to this x plus 1. Um, so, you know, if 6 divided by x plus 1 equals 3, what is the value of x plus 1, right? So the danger with, with uh, me simplifying this equation before reading the entire question is that I probably would have solved for x. And not that that's very difficult to do. Um, it's that I wouldn't have necessarily needed to do that because the question is asking for x plus 1. And at the end of the day, it's not a huge problem because if I, if I know what x is, I can always add 1 to it. But what makes this interesting is that because I have 6 divided by x plus 1 equals 3, I can move this entire x plus 1, right, away or out of the denominator, making this 6 equals, and instead of distributing the 3 like I would if I were trying to solve for x alone, I could just say, well, that's equal to 3 parentheses x plus 1. Because I know that what I'm looking for is what x plus 1 is, I can then divide both sides by 3. In doing so, that isolates my x plus 1, and there's my answer, right? x plus 1 is equal to 2, and therefore my answer is choice C. So even if you didn't think of it that way, and you thought to solve for x first, that's perfectly fine. The challenge here is making sure that you don't think that the question is asking you for the value of x. We have to read the question carefully and see that it's actually asking you for the value of x plus 1. And notice, of course, um, since we know if x plus 1 is equal to 2, that means x must equal 1, and we do have that answer choice listed here, right? So if by chance you solved for x, didn't quite pay close attention to what was actually being asked, you would choose B and have no idea that you made a mistake, right? So always be mindful of what's actually being asked by the question.